Good day and welcome back to the Super Data Science YouTube channel. Today we continue our tutorial on integrating R into Tableau. Now in the previous tutorial we looked at setting up the, the integration between R and Tableau and for that we needed to set up the R serve connection or the R serve package which we've done already and we looked at what else is needed for the integration between R and Tableau. In today's tutorial we will be looking at how to analyze data in Tableau using our packages and we're looking we'll be looking at some outlier detection but firstly let's look at refreshing our memory on how the R integration works so we've looked at this in the previous tutorial as well we'll just give it a quick refresh so Tableau uses the input data that we provided and by creating a calculated field in combination with a table calculation function as we can see here we then pass the script that we write through this table calculation into our serve our serve ensures that it gets executed together with the data and that the results are fed back into Tableau and then let Tableau do what it does best and that is to create interactive data visualization. Now it's important to note that we use table calculations and these four uh, different ones that we've looked at before as well um, determines what the output, that we, the output that we are expecting from R based on the R script, and that would be if we are expecting a boolean, we'll use the first one, if it's an integer, the second, if it's a number, the third, and if it's a string, the SDR one. It's also very important to note that any packages that we are calling within our script, and obviously within the table calculation, needs to be installed in R and be ready for use, otherwise we will not be able to use them. Another tip also, when creating R scripts, do test them in R first before inputting them into Tableau, it will just make your life much easier in terms of troubleshooting. But enough of that, let's get doing. All right, so if we open up a Tableau instance and we just use the sample Superstore data, I think most of us are familiar with that, so it's quite an easy one to showcase this. We'll start off by building a very basic visualization by taking the order date, putting that into columns, and we will focus on the continuous quarters. And then secondly, you, we use profit and the sum of profit into our rows. We do change this to a shape chart and we make the shape a full circle. We can just increase the size a little bit to make it a bit easier to view. Now as mentioned we need to create a calculated field. In that calculated field we will look for table calculations and as mentioned these are the four different types or four different functions that we will use for the table calculations. We will call our table calculation or our calculated field outlier and for that we'll be using the script real function. Now the script reel, as you can see, most like all of the others, has got two parts. The first part, and you can see the two parts over there, but let's look at an example over here. The first part in quotations is the actual R script. It's separated by a comma, and then we put any values that needs to get put, passed through to the actual R script. I break it up like this, just to make sure that it's a bit more easier to read. Um, we know we want to put a, a R script that will be in, in quotations and uh, we'll have a comma that separates that from the actual arguments. So let's get going. So firstly, how we will do this is we will be invoking another library and you might say uh, we haven't seen this one yet. So this is MV outlier and we will actually, we haven't installed this yet, so we'll install this in a second, we'll go through that st those steps again, but for now we'll just type it over here. Um, and that is a single R line of code. And to separate that from another one, we just put a semicolon. I'm just going to put an enter and tab all my way to there just to make sure it's a bit easier to read once again, as we, as we discussed earlier. All right, so after we've invoked the library, immediately tab, uh, Tableau, or R in this case, will then jump over to the function. We'll use the sign to function, C bind, and oops, C bind, there we go. And then we'll put our first argument. Now, Arg1 or dot arg1 is actually just a placeholder for whatever value we are passing through. And I'll show you in a second where we define what value needs to be passed through to that variable. And then we'll also just finish our function over here by putting w final01. Alright, and that's our full R script. Again, if you are not familiar with R, do not attempt this. First have a look and get some training on R before attempting this in Tableau. Okay. Right, so we've got our R code. Let's pass the next, well, in essence, the value over that we want or the um, argument that we want to use in the script. And we know we want to use the sum of profit to identify the actual um, outliers. 
So we'll just type it out sum of profit. And we finish that off with a, another bracket. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. We use script real, which is our table calculation function. We have our R code, which is um, broken up with, uh, or the different statements is broken up with a semicolon. And then we have any arguments or any values we want to pass over into the R code in there. If we had more than one argument or more than one code, if we had sum of profit and sum of sales, for instance, we would simply just continue by putting more of these next to each other. Yeah, put sum of sales, for instance, whatever the case is. And then you'll just continue the numbering by saying dot arc two for um, in the next space or next area which you want to use it in the script. So you can pass more than one value over into your script. We will hit OK because that is uh, we are done with our outlier. Um, but as you remember, we haven't actually installed the MB outliers package. And you can see that if we use this MB or well, these outliers, uh, the measure that we've created and put that onto color, we will immediately get an error, which says that we don't have the MB outlier package or library installed. So we'll just remove that. We'll jump back into our R instance. And similar like we did with the um, installing a package earlier, We'll do the same here and type MB outlier. Hit enter and Tableau will take care of the rest installing it for us. All right, once it's installed, we can go back into Tableau. And then now if you, if you see what happens if we put outlier into color, Tableau will pass the data and the R script into R. It will calculate the values and it will return it in there. As you can see, now we've got a value from zero to one and that's why the coloring has also adapted like that. Now that's not gonna work for us. We actually would want to have a, an output of text for instance. So let's quickly go into our outlier and we can just by simply saying, we know we're expecting a zero or a one from our output over here. So we can just put an if statement in here to say that if the result is equal to a zero, then we want uh, this to be output, uh, well, this uh, if function to output saying this is an outlier. Else, if it's not, so basically if it's a one, we want to say that this is normal. So, and then we always end it on with an if, uh, with an end, yeah, any if we then also end off with an end like that. Can apply and our calculation is valid. And now you'll see it has changed the type, obviously. And if we put this onto the color tab now, again, it would do the calculation. But now you'll see that the outlier is orange um, and the normal ones are blue. We could also use that outlier and put that into shape to give some uh, custom shapes in there. And let's quickly change that up. So I like to use the filled ones. So for normal, we'll use just a normal filled one. But for the outlier, we'll put a little X over there and make it a bit more dramatic by changing an outlier to red. And there you can see it. An outlier identified by or based on the MB outliers package from the data that we've been supplied here. What makes this very nice is we can drill now down into the months and Tableau will again invoke R, do the recalculation and again identify which outliers we have now based on the new level of granularity. And obviously you can continue this with the weeks as well. And again, all the data is passed over to R, does a recalculation and returns it back. So as you can see, super helpful and really nice to know how to use R within Tableau. And again, the opportunities are endless. This is where we will stop off today. Do go and practice some additional packages within R and see what you can come up with. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you will join us next time. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we've got some exciting content coming up. And until we see each other again, happy analyzing.